We've borne enough insults from the meddling Yankees. It's time we made them understand we'll keep our slaves with or without their approval. Was the sovereign right of the state of Georgia to secede from the Union? That's right. The South must assert herself by force of arms. After we fired on the Yankee rascals at Fort Sumter, we've got to fight. There's no other way. Fight, that's right, fight. Let the Yankees be the one to ask for peace. The situation's very simple. The Yankees can't fight and we can. You're right. Even me a battle, that's what I think. They'll just turn and run every time. One Southerner can lick 20 Yankees. So I will finish him in one battle. Gentlemen can always fight better than rattle. Yes, right. gentlemen always fight better than rattle. And what does the captain of our troops say? Well, gentlemen, if Georgia fights, I go with her. But like my father, I hope that the Yankees will let us leave the Union in peace. But Ashley, well, Ashley, they've insulted us. You can't mean you don't want war. Most of the miseries of the world were caused by wars. And when the wars were over, no one ever knew what they were about. Why, Ashley, it wasn't there. No, 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 gentlemen, Mr. Butler's been up north, I hear. Don't you agree with this, Mr. Butler? I think it's hard winning a war with words, gentlemen. What do you mean, sir? I mean, Mr. Hamilton, there's not a cannon factory in the whole South. What difference does that make, sir, to a gentleman? I'm afraid it's going to make a great deal of difference to a great many gentlemen, sir. Are you hinting, Mr. Butler, that the Yankees can lick us? No, I'm not hinting. I'm saying very plainly that the Yankees are better equipped than we. They've got factories, shipyards, coal mines, and a fleet to bottle up our harbors and starve us to death. All we've got is cotton and slaves and arrogance. That's treacherous. <laughs> not abuse. It isn't any renegade talk. Well, I'm sorry if the truth offends you. Apologies aren't enough, sir. I hear you were turned out of West Point, Mr. Red Butler, and that you are receiving a decent family in Charleston, not even your own. I apologize again for all my shortcomings. Mr. Wilkes, perhaps you won't mind if I walk about and look over your place. I seem to be spoiling everybody's brandy and cigars and dreams of victory. refused to fight. Not quite that, Charles. He just refused to take advantage of you. Take advantage of me? Yes, he's one of the best shots in the country, as he's proved a number of times. He gets steadier hands and cooler heads than yours. Well, I'll show him. No, 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 please. Don't go tweaking his nose anymore. You may be needed for more important fighting, Charles. Now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Butler is our guest. I think I'll just show him around. Here. Yeah. Yeah.